Hi friends from Traffic Chic, I am Lourdes Nicole, co-founder and editor in chic of Traffic Chic and host of your favorite podcast, Catching Up with Traffic Chic, where you will learn about the most important topics of the fashion, beauty, and chic lifestyle industry in Puerto Rico and the world. We are currently preparing for a weighted yearly swim week coverage. Whereas of the recording of this episode is starting in a few days, from July 8th to the 11th. And we will be there as always to show you the best runways, designer interview, backstage access, and so much more. Stay tuned to all our social media platforms and YouTube channels so you don't miss anything. And We are really happy because it's been a few months since we did our last episode, but we wanted to start to kick off the swim week coverage with the one and only and the first time here on our podcast and on Traffic Chic on an interview with the Colombian designer Liliana Montoya from Liliana Montoya Swimwear. We're happy to have you here. And just so you know, we're going to talk to you a little bit more about who Liliana Montoya is. She is the founder and creative director of Liliana Montoya Swim, as I told you um, a few minutes back. Based in Miami Beach, Florida, born and raised in Medellin, Colombia, in 2006, Liliana Montoya brings her creative vision to reality. She starts her brand under her name with an exclusive quantity feminine line offering flattering products of high quality and embellished by hand. Fabrics, liquors, and accessories are all from Colombia, so they're Latin made. With her tropical roots and Latin-based diverse designs, her unique style is influenced by her culture, adding luxury without ostentation. The influence of Latin American color and, colors and trends are reflected in the countless details that also generate a strong visual impact as you have seen here on our YouTube channel on Traffic Chic. Every garment and detail of Liliana Montoya's brand is created with the search for flirty, romantic, and unique products that explore new trends, mixing textures and silhouettes. Also, as an iconic touch, when she was a child, She replaced the M from Montoya in her signature with a heart, and it became her registered trademark of the brand that you all guys love. Each bikini includes a golden touch heart ornament that represents her passion that embraces in every single piece. Liliana Mostol. Montoya's collection have been featured in runways like Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, Miami International Fashion Week, Function Swim Week, that is now Paraiso, Miami Beach. Her bikini has been covered of, uh, on Harper's Bazaar Argentina, editor from magazines such as Sports Illustrated, FHM, Maxim, GQ, Women's Health, 17, Mary Claire, and of course, she has been Um, the runway has been here with us in Travis Chic and much more. Liliana, thanks for being here with us today. Wow, Lourdes, thank you so much for that introduction. And I wanted to say that I'm so honored to be here um, talking to you guys, and it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. We are really glad to have you here. We have covered your, your shows since... Um, many years ago, but we haven't had the pleasure to interview you. So now is like the perfect timing because events are 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 going um, are coming back as we have previous the pandemic, and you are here and you will be in Paraiso, Miami Beach. How do you feel that you will be presenting your collection on such a big event and after the pandemic? Yes, we're doing the kicking off of Swim Week, and I am excited to come back this year for Paraiso. 
as the pandemic was very hard for all of us, uh, for every single individual in the whole world has been affected to these um, circumstances. And for me, it was, an, it was a calling. When I went through um, the, uh, the lockdown, me, my family and myself, we got heated very hard. And it took us really seriously that, thanks God we are alive and we're able to uh, count the, the story and, and express what we went through, but it's nothing that we wish for nobody. So I wanted to create something that brings consciousness and to be um, part of a solution because as I see humanity is going through a lot of chaos and it's because of us. We are the consequences of our actions. And I know that we as an entrepreneur and designers, we're so creative that we have so much powers in our hands that we need to be aware of what we can transform. And this is why we are transforming a runway to an opportunity to be conscious about our actions and to present a sustainable collection. Yeah, we can say that, that from, from many perspectives, 2020, was a year of, of introspection, of mm -hmm. consciousness. And, and now you have prepared, then I think, I haven't seen it. I'm waiting to see it on the runway, um, a, a collection that is called Gaia and it's sustainable and circular and it's a capsule collection. And can you tell us more about what inspired you directly um, to do that specific collection? Gaia is a curated collection created for the conscious soul inspired on the goddess of earth, which it means that we are bringing the elements of mother earth into the prints of our swimsuits. Uh, we are taking details of vegetation, animal prints, skin, uh, type animal, jaguars, flowers, birds, butterflies, everything that nature has uh, so detailed and that we sometimes we uh, doesn't appreciate it, that I feel that this is the moment for us just to be dressed with, with these beautiful patterns. And, and this is what we're going to uh, present for Gaia as it, it is fully the concept of bringing the, um, the, the tribute to Mother Earth. Our audience and the audience, the global audience is used to your beautiful and sexy swimwear. But regarding the fabrics, I know that when we talk about sustainable, circular, we talk about uh, uh, recycle, um, upcycle. Um, what can the, can the audience expect of the fabric of the, of the collection? Um, surrounded this um, capsule collection that we'll present on um, Paradise on Miami Beach. It is important to understand that uh, fashion industry it is the second largest industry that pollutes uh, the earth. So we understand that as a brand and uh, as a company that wants to create a high impact and a solution, we are not 100% like perfect, but we are willing to know our customers that I want them to create consciousness to buy in quality in order for them to buy less. So for us to create a swimwear, it basically means that we are collecting bottles in Colombia and recycle them and getting into a process that they become a threat and then it's the fabric. So 11 bottles of recyclable PET are actually one two swimsuits of Liliana Montoya swim. That is really interesting to know because it's important for me to let the people know that it's not just fashion. Many people see fashion and something superficial that I, I, I object at that because there's something uh, creative. There, there is a lot of, of things that happen in order to, to a piece of clothing to go uh, into the market. but. Additionally, to be creating um, that much impact 
on the on the environment it's really important because it is just transcended um the usual swimwear fashion it's it's doing multiple things both to the customer and to the environment and it's amazing that you by by each swimmer you could save um, the environment from 11 bottles of plastic that they they don't they don't they don't decompose they they just st stand there on the environment polluting it and exactly. it's really it's really and amazing the and they kill the turtles they create fishes and and animals eat them and then at the end we are the ones that are eating that um, that plastic that they doesn't disintegrate it. Regarding the cuts and the style, why can you talk to us about what you what we will see on the wrong way this week? That's what I love about fashion because with fashion we're able to express our personality. So we are um, allowing our mermaids to have variety of fits and cuts, and that I am pretty sure they will love it. And it's 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 it's, it's a unique exp expression for a woman to have the opportunity to get one bikini and actually convert it on two or three different ways of uh, wearing it. So by, by said that, if you're purchasing a swimsuit for Liliana Montoya, you're actually getting four different ways of wearing it because it's reversible and you can mix and match them. So if you see the print from the outside, it's super colorful, it's bright, and it's, it's, it's brilliant. And then you see it in the backwards, and it's the animal skin. So we have options for our clients to love them if they are towards to a jaguar or a tiger. And, and they can pre pretty much like be super creative about like uh, having the perfect fit for them because we have low rise, we have more coverage, we have high waist, we have the scrunchy bottoms, we have straples, and we have, of course, the one pieces and our signature hard bikinis that are the must. That is really great because uh, when we think about the consumer mm -hmm. and the audience that is looking to purchase uh, those swimsuits, maybe um, they are all about the prints, maybe or they are all about the colors, but maybe they want to transition and they can do it piece by piece by reversing it and having multiple options in just uh, one swimsuit and that is really great um, and that is really creative and innovative and we have to let know our audience that not all or not many brands that are e even um, feature in swim we do that so that is really important but I feel so fortunate that I am coming from Colombia and we are the top leaders on the industry for swimwear we are becoming this huge movement that is well very well that is very well known around the world and we have the technology we have the people we have the passion to create these kind of uh, new um, trends that are uh, that are impacting the world and as always i hope to see the montoya heart on each yeah. swimwear right <laughs> Yes, it's the branding and that's what makes us unique and special and it started back in 2006 since I knew that I wanted to give and, and have my heart into my project and it became my, my signature and I know a lot of brands are doing it now and I feel, and I feel flattered and I feel like compliment about that. I'm not feeling trapped even though they're doing like kind of the same what I have started, but I feel pretty confident that uh, when you do everything like with your knowledge and with your passion, like life is going to compensate you. So um, I'm, 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 to I'm so happy to be very well known for the trademark of my mark. Yeah, and the customer knows that yeah. uh, the customer know when it's original, when it's genuine, when, when, when the, the, the designer takes the time to think about the details and think about the the, the manufacturing and the structure of each piece. Um, do you see um, a lot of more um, circular and sustainability uh, sustainable um, collections coming on the brand's way in the few years to come? 
that's how I see the future of fashion evolving to a sustainable uh, product. Not 100%, but it's the majority because technology is allowing us to use these products and we need to open our eyes and understand that we have the power to change the course of our humanity future. It's on our hands to do something for the better outcome and the brands are waking up like the major top um, industry um, um, Sada, H&M, um, these giants from fashion, they, they are willing to, to do that movement and helping the small brands as well to be uh, guided by them. Yeah, and it's really amazing that for people that um, are now um, tuning in or that will hear this podcast or see the, the video on YouTube, um, if you have been... Um, going with us from, from years past here in Traffic Chic, we have um, covered um, Colombia Moda. And from Colombia, there is this really strong movement. I don't, I don't say that, that other Latin American countries and Latin American um, citizens are not doing it, but especially on a focused way, Colombian people uh, are doing the best and, and the most um, impact on the environment, talking about sustainability, talking about what we can do uh, with, with, with their communities and, and how we can have um, future impact. And it's really uh, amazing that you as a, as a Colombian and as a woman entrepreneur are taking the step because it's, it's not easy. It's not, sometimes it's not even cheap. It's to, not, that's to, what I'm trying to say. It's really expensive and it's because it needs a process and we have to respect that process. We need to understand that people is actually recycling the bottles, are taking them and, and, and that takes a lot of days to get a bottle into the material, but we are doing everything with a purpose. So it's not cheap, but it's totally worth it. Exactly. And, and I think the, the pieces are going to last longer because of the material also. So it's an, a, an investment also on the piece. You're investing on the brand, you're investing on the piece on yourself, and you're investing on the environment and on the future of, the, of planet Earth. So it's like, it's not, we're not talking about here is our brand, uh, look at our pretty swimwear only. We're you're given the, the pretty and the functional four-way swimwear that is sustainable, that is um, doing um, good to humanity, to earth, all in a creative way. And that is really awesome. And that is something that we have to keep um, talking about and, yeah. and, and telling people about because the impact is bigger than just having a uh, pretty and trendy um, swimwear that, that is also important because you want to be fashionable, you want to be on trend, but you want to support um, the culture of your company, you want to support your mission, and now your mission has become to also um, take care of the environment. Yes, it's, it's, qual it's quantity, quality instead of quantity. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's to motivate our customers to really understand how to purchase and that when they purchase quality, the product will last longer and, and don't compare ourselves because I know it's a hard and it's a difficult world out there because fashion industry is always fast. It's always like what our celebrities are wearing, it's about what the influencers are wearing and they're wearing every day a simple different outfit. It's like they don't want to repeat anything. And, and, and we, as a consumers, we were forced to go after the line and we need to step out and, and have products that can be reversible, that can uh, offer options. And for instance, if you're going on a trip and you need to bring a small cage, um, a suitcase, you know that you can pack a, a, a really smart, um, a smart um, out outfit 
that can be like super competitive and, and different um, occasions for you to wear it. So it's, it's a matter of being smart and know how to purchase because uh, quality is what is last. Yeah, and it's gonna. It's not like um, contrasting with with fast fashion that that harms so much the environment. It's gonna last you um, for generations, and you can even pass down to your kids if you really take care of the pieces. And and you you can make history, and you can also tell them um, like as we're doing today with the vintage archives, and uh, that we say he, here was what the how the the clothes were made on such and such era we can we can say hey this is a creative functional and sustainable piece of swimmer in case that that future generations will not know what it is but you have been um, planting the seed and that's really admirable and that is something that everyone here in traffic and everyone around the world has to know um, regarding your show, when will you you be presenting your collection next week? You're very welcome to join us. Please, uh, I invite you to go to our Runway Gaia by Liliana Montoya Swim this July 8, 10 o'clock at Paraiso. Uh, I promise you, you're gonna be surprised by our performance. It's gonna be an incredible presentation that you will be mindful about your thoughts and the way that you consume into the human and to the fashion industry. And where can our audience find more about your products and follow you on social media? Yes, you can go online and check that out our page, lilianamontoya.com or your social media, Instagram, Liliana Montoya Swim, Facebook as well, Liliana Montoya. And we are going to have the streaming of our runway live. So you weren't going to miss it. It's going to be on social media, YouTube, on our site. It's going to be everywhere. If you cannot be present, just go reserve your seat on the computer and be ready to enjoy the show. Thank you so much, Liliana, for being here with us. Thank you, the audience, for, for tuning in. And remember, you can see the show uh, live on the Liliana Montoya Swim um, social media platforms. And after the show, you can see it the day after on Traffic Chick on YouTube, and you can see all our, 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 our reading articles. You can see social media uh, photos, videos, everything, because we will be there. I Thank you so much. Up. And I love your viewers. Thank you so much for the support. It's always an honor to be represented by Latin American culture and you guys from Puerto Rico. I feel the love and I feel the support. So thank you so much. Well, friends, thanks for tuning in. Remember to follow us on all our social networks on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, TikTok. Subscribe and see all the fashion shows and exclusive content on our YouTube channel, Traffic Chick. And also don't forget to visit our digital magazine at www.traffic-chic.com where we publish articles about fashion, beauty, and chic lifestyle every day. And last but not least, to um, subscribe and share this podcast and listen it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. Catching up with Traffic Chic. Until next time. Bye.